Razor owners often upgrade their machine's lower A-arms and radius rods, looking to improve ground clearance and strength. Riding in the rocky desert of Southern California, UTV on-demand test guru and CT Racing Engines owner Alan Knowles has wadded up his share of stock Razor control arms. He remedied this problem when he started using Texeratex Extreme Ground Clearance Lower A-Arms and Radius Rods. With all the extra horsepower and acceleration provided by the Polaris Razor Turbo, Allen decided to have Texeratex add nearly their entire catalog of Razor chassis upgrades to our Razor XP Turbo project. Texeratex owner Ed Texera is a desert racer. He understands the importance of building highly durable yet lightweight chassis components. To maximize our Razor's strength, rigidity, and ground clearance, a complete set of Texeratex Extreme Ground Clearance Radius Rods and A-Arms were installed, in addition to their trailing arm gusset kit and sway bar links. Unlike some of their competitors that have their chassis parts built in China out of cheap mild steel, Texeratex parts are American made. Their A-Arms and Radius Rods are constructed of TIG welded 4130 chromoly. The material is a bit more expensive but it's far stronger, allowing Texeratec to keep weight close to stock while greatly improving strength. Although they're definitely upgraded, Texeratec lists their arms and rods as stock replacements, meaning their geometry is unchanged, allowing you to run your stock shocks. Texeratec's complete extreme ground clearance front A-arm set features their XGC lower A-arms. Their reverse gull wing design maximizes ground clearance and they're gusseted for added strength. The far more robust looking upper A-arms feature a boxed front section with a tubular rear half. While we've seen some mild steel aftermarket A-arms that weigh twice as much as stock, Texeratex Chromali A-arms weigh a mere 3.5 pounds more than stock for the complete set of four. We upgraded our Texeratex A-arms with their optional high quality Italian made frap ball joints. The upgraded upper ball joints press in from the bottom with a retaining clip on top of the A-arm. This is the opposite and far superior to the stock design. The frat ball joint upgrade will also work on your stock upper A-arms. The Extreme Ground Clearance Radius Rod Kit includes Texeratex triple plated boxed XGC lower rods. The box tubing features a front and rear plate with a third plate stitch welded into the center, making them far stronger and more rigid. Allen has straightened out several sets of other manufacturers' aftermarket tubular mild steel high clearance radius rods, even the tough looking gusseted ones. He's been beating on Texera's XGC lower rods on several cars over the past couple of years with zero failures to report. They're really that much stronger. Texera's XGC radius rod set also includes larger diameter tubular upper rods. The set adds strength and certainly adds rigidity. Both the A-arms and radius rods can be powder-coated a number of different colors to match the look of your Razor. Texeratex Trailing Arm Gusset Kit is designed to improve the durability of the Razor stock trailing arms, lower shock mounts, and sway bar linkage mounts at a fraction of the price of purchasing new aftermarket arms. Constructed of mild steel and CNC machine for precision and accuracy, you can weld them to your stock trailing arms yourself or send them into Texeratex and they'll install them for you for a small fee. Texeratex CNC machined billet aluminum sway bar links are designed to be lighter and stronger than stock. The stock links attach with bolts and rubber grommets at the eyelets, compared to Texera's high quality American made FK spherical bearings, which reduce flex. As we've seen in the past with Texeratex XGC lower A arms and radius rods, the difference in performance is obvious the first time you cruise through a rock garden without plowing into anything. For the occasional rock that's too big to clear, Texeratex parts hold up well to a beating. With a stock geometry, aside from their higher ground clearance, there is not an easily detectable difference in performance until you've been to stock or inferior aftermarket chassis part in or left sitting, wishing you'd spend a little more money on quality parts. Weekends of hammering on our Razor Turbo have proven Texeratex chassis parts were well worth the investment. You can have a lot more fun driving hard when there's less fear of breaking the car. The US market being flooded with cheap Chinese ball joints has given ball joints a bad reputation as of late compared to a uniball setup. We can honestly attest that we've yet to break a high quality frat ball joint 
on any of our upgraded cars. Plus, frat ball joints are sealed, greatly reducing wear by keeping water and dirt out. There are plenty of Chinese side-by-side -side manufacturers out there selling less expensive and typically inferior cars. Most enthusiasts look past them in favor of more expensive and higher quality machines like the Polaris Razor. Many of those enthusiasts then turn right around and add inferior chassis parts to their expensive cars because they're less expensive. Unfortunately, this often results in wasted time, wasted money, and the purchasing of more parts. If you'd like to know how to save some money on upgrading your Razor's chassis for improved ground clearance and strength, we'd recommend simply buying high quality chassis parts like the ones manufactured by Texeratec in the first place so you don't waste your time and money on inferior parts, hoping to save a few bucks. For pricing and more information on Texeratec's full line of side-by-side -side and ATV high-performance chassis parts, log on to texeratec.com. For more side-by-side -side related content like this, check out some of UTV On Demand's other videos. If you'd like to see our newest videos, make sure to subscribe to UTV On Demand and click the bell so you're notified as soon as they're released. If you like ATVs, consider subscribing to our other channel, ATV On Demand.